In this equation, we have copper two nitrate and sodium phosphate reacting in a double displacement reaction. The copper and the sodium, they're gonna switch places. When we have these double displacement reactions and we're trying to balance them, it's really helpful to use this trick. We can think of the polyatomic ions, this nitrate, NO3, as one thing if we have it here and it stays together and we have it here. Same with the phosphate. We have a phosphate ion, this PO4 here, and we have it again here. So we're just gonna call it one item. That makes the balancing a lot easier for double displacement reactions. Let's try it. We have one copper, one of the NO3, the nitrates, times two. So we have two of those, three sodium atoms, and just the one phosphate. On the product side, we have three coppers, one nitrate, one sodium, and then the one phosphate times the two. So we have two of those. Why don't we balance the coppers first, see what that does. So we have three here, and one here. So we could put a coefficient of three in front of the copper two nitrate. That means one times three for the copper, and those are balanced. Then we have the one nitrate times two, so we have two of those times the three. We have six nitrate ions. Okay, might as well try to balance the nitrates here. We have six here and one here. If we put a coefficient of six in front of the sodium nitrate, now we have one nitrate times the six. That gives us six of those and those are balanced. And then we have one sodium times the six as well. So we have six sodium atoms. Let's just balance the sodiums. We have six here and three here. We could put a two in front of the sodium phosphate, three times two, that gives us six. So those are balanced. And the one phosphate times the two, that gives us two phosphates. And that matches up, we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see how helpful it is when we consider the nitrate as one thing since it stays together or the phosphate since it stays together, we count it as one thing. It makes the balancing a lot easier and you're less likely to make errors. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuNO32 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.